Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. Welcome to Now and Together, Industry Edition from Nelia Pelle. Let's today inspire you, because this is our mantra, in something which is very exciting because today we travel so far away and today to our community we like uh, to talk about China wave, the reshaping of Chinese consumer desires. I'm very excited today because we have three special guests directly from China and I can't wait to introduce you all of the three guests. And this is really a very special occasion because for one hour, it's something like to travel in China and to experience the Chinese wave. So, first of all, let me introduce you, Mrs. Renelu, so the head buyer of the fashion door, K11. Hi. Hello. Hi, ciao, Hi. Orietta. <laughs> I'm, I'm so ciao. I'm so sorry that uh, I was supposed to be in office, but uh, then I'm um, now I'm traveling in Shenzhen now. So maybe the car, but maybe not a problem because it's me. Great. This means that you are traveling around, you are moving around, so you are enjoying. Great. Yes, we welcome, did. Renee. I did. Thanks. Great. And then let me introduce Wang Ju Lao, a global influencer from Shanghai. Where are you now, Wang Ju Lao? Hello, <laughs> Luna. <laughs> ciao, 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 ciao. So are you in Shanghai right now? Why are I'm you traveling Shanghai, around? But, uh, the next week I'm going to travel around for two cities. Great. Perfect. Sitting in your sofa, enjoying this kind of uh, uh, experience. Mm -hmm. And then we have the gentleman. So, a gentleman, Pietro Ferracina. Product Vice President of Bossy Dent Downwear. Pietro, welcome. <laughs> what should I be? <laughs> I have to talk in Chinese. Everyone talks in English, and right now I have to talk in, in Chinese, right? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Good. So, thank you so much to invite me to this great meeting. I'm in, in Shanghai, in my office. Mm -hmm. uh, here to share with you something interesting from China. Wow, thank you very much to take part to this, uh, to this presentation, to this conversation. And let me say that uh, we have a very lot of expectation today, our, all our guests which are connected with us, because there are a lot of let me say, curiosity around what's going on in China, uh, what's happened, because it was the first country where we've seen several uh, reactions. So i like to share something that you sent to me, and I like it in this case, Pietro took this video, I don't remember when, and what's going on? Look, at full of people around the streets. First May, in uh, Nanjing Donglu. It's, it was uh, the time, to ju I'm just be curious to see the people if go around, buy something, if the uh, economy go up and restart again. So uh, for me, not surprised because I'm, I'm really proud to be in China and proud to, to the Chinese people. For me, it's a normal reaction, see the people go around, join the life, join some shop also and buy something for us this is the top so this is also resilience from this country the, the real re resilience from this country incredible people yeah it's a very great resilience this is true and what about rene so yes you, where are located your shops where are located well, what's going on 
Okay, our shop located in uh, K11 uh, at Mo in Guangzhou. And uh, we open our store since 14th of February. And of course, during the pandemic, but uh, uh, during that period, uh, zero visitors, zero customers, because everybody stay home. But then slowly, slowly, starting from 1st March, uh, we are welcoming more and more visitors, customers coming to the shopping mall. And uh, so situation now is getting better, especially for June. Um, the whole month of June, actually, we uh, already get back to our turnover compared to the same time as last year. So I think the situation in, in, uh, for the retail business now is going, going back, which is uh, to us, we, we are quite positive to see that. But of course, um, you can see that uh, we still go out with masks in public area, uh, but uh, inside the group, if uh, with uh, small groups, then we can take off the mask. And, but I see now uh, to us, it's uh, just, we already get used to it to wear the mask to go everywhere, but it, it will not um, affect you know our mood on shopping or our mood to do the uh, small parties, uh, you know, such such. Yeah, this is this is interesting oh. when 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 you talk about that you are positive has a store and you are positive has designer and brand which is pietro but now i really like to ask to wendula so yeah so what about <laughs> being an influencer in china today because it it was i have to tell to all of our community that with all of you three and also wendula uh, since the beginning we were talking and speaking, what's going on during different call, but what's going on right now? Now is uh, it's mainly different from before, uh, but as Renee mentioned that re the retail is, is like back to the normal. So as influencer work is, uh, is back, but it's a different back. Uh, before we uh, promotion for brands, we went to the event, so we fly around. So uh, in this year, we do the live streaming a lot because uh, at the beginning, is uh, the situation is kind of serious. So people cannot go out and uh, we cannot go out for work. So we do in a new way to promote for the brand. And uh, we do the live streaming mainly uh, on the Chimo uh, store for brands and uh, before we have the live streaming, but this year is kind of different. I mean, in, uh, in many ways, uh, in this year, we do the, maybe the brand invite uh, the influencer uh, to do the live streaming, also invite the CEO of the brand and that they can introduce the product well to tell in the story of the brand well to, to the customers. And also they invite the, maybe the, uh, the sales in the store of the brand to, to introduce the product.
I still remember on February, on March, and uh, not too much brand to do the live streaming because they think it's a new way and uh, it's a big risk. And uh, they, uh, especially for the, last, the, the luxury brand, the big brand, they, do, they want to do the high quality, the, uh, the great, the brilliant concept to show the customers. And uh, after, I think from the May uh, to now, there are more and more ways to do the live streaming and more and more big brand to come to June. I believe that uh, in the next few months, there should be more and more uh, new ways we can see we can we will see i think yeah yeah i'm so uh, confident about the live streaming things yeah and, I, and also pietro was talking about live streaming so what, what is your brand what is your company doing in live streaming it's pietro is connected with us i think he lost a little bit the connection <laughs> yeah yeah no problem <laughs> Yeah, uh, a little bit. Yeah, about the live streaming uh, through our store while those our VIPs or customers stay home, mm -hmm. because of of course during that serious period, most of people they uh, rather stay home than going out. So we we are using before this pandemic, we never use live streaming. Mm -hmm. But then since February, uh, we opened the store and we try to use the live streaming to. Um, to show our uh, spring summer collections to the customers. And uh, we uh, set up different groups. So by total, we, uh, you, you, see, you, you see we are using our WeChat. So we have a WeChat groups. Uh, we group all our VIPs in uh, different groups. And then uh, for different groups, we're showing the different live streaming about the collections, about the designers, which that the customer, they are in, quite enjoying to uh, you know receiving all this information the, the brands the new collections although they cannot go in going out buy, but they can we chat through the uh, chat page so they can place the order directly to our sales in the store uh, which we find it's um to us it's quite successful we, we feel quite happy about that because we didn't expect that and then uh, uh, in March, because we're in our store, normally we do kind of a, a VIP activities uh, once in a month, once in two months. And we will invite the VIP customers to our store to the site. So we do the, you know, like a party, or we also invite, you know, the KOL like a Vengen or, you know, the fashion bloggers. But this time, since uh, we have to limit the people, so we invite uh, speakers, we do the live streaming, and then everybody enjoying watching, you know, what we talk about the live so far and how we should enjoy the lifestyle during this kind of a difficult time. Uh, we find it's very, uh, how can I say, stick it to our cut. Yes, yes. So did this, I think this thing, so we, uh, we will continue even the, um, Situation now getting better. People are getting back to, uh, you know, going out street, going shopping. But I think we will still keep on this live streaming, which is we found very, very helpful. We even last month, we do the live streaming with uh, Ken. We don't. Oh, I love you. Yeah, yeah. We lost you. Oh, yeah, we, uh, I lost the Renee. Yeah, we lost it, Renee. Yeah, yeah, yeah lost, I, uh, I agree yes. with you. Even okay. Uh, uh, maybe uh, get through the virus the situation. And I, I, get, I think the customers will get used to this kind of way to, to watch live streaming, to, yes. uh, to know about uh, more about the brand, uh, more about the, maybe the stores, yeah. the events. And uh, from the May in Shanghai, uh, yes. some of the event, I mean, the offline event uh, come to the market. They are trying to uh, invite people to come to the store. And not too much, maybe um, 
20 or 30. And uh, this is uh, what I'm doing. Uh, I also doing crossover with a brand and uh, we uh, cross over with maybe hotel. We do the events. We invite our VIP or my followers to come to the event. We are talking about some a more interesting topic about fashion, about lifestyle, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, and to know, uh, to, and then we, at the same time, we, we also do the live streaming to spread around, to let the more people to know about this brand, this place, and uh, uh, to know our events. So great, let me, let me jump inside because we already have some questions, like, uh, yeah. Rene and Wendela was talking about key opinion leader and key opinion consumer. So, which is really the difference? Because you already said, but I want to repeat to our community. So, because I never heard KOC before. <laughs> yeah, for me, KOC is uh, the CEO, right? <laughs> Because when take we are about to the director of this, we are talking from the live streaming. Um, before we do like uh, the promotion, the brand would love to uh, invite the blogger or the um, ambassadors to to do the shooting or to do the event, and uh, from. This year, I can see some CEO be involved, uh, some uh, maybe live streaming. So I guess the KOC also means is the KOCO, right? KOCO. So okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's some someone <laughs> who is uh, very important, uh, who run the business, uh, who wants to. Uh, do it by himself or herself to to introduce the brand to the customers online. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah. So this can be. I like this point because this means that you have the owner, which is maybe not the designer, and yeah. in his space. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. What do you think about? Yeah, I um, everything because uh, I, I like it going down, up and up and down. I lost fifty percent of <laughs> all the time. Oh, <laughs> you're <went>. back! <laughs> no, no, no. I will, I will try to restart again. Okay, it was understand my understanding um, from the beginning. Uh, Rene is open his own uh, shop yes. in. Uh, in K11 from February 14, right? Yes. And this step by step still coming yes. back in the reality. That is true because this is what still happen yes. now. Yes, okay. yes. Um, back to Wujin, it's a chaos, K-O-C-L, right? No? Something yeah. like this one. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I borrowed she's dress today, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to um, KOTS. It's, it's, it's true. Many companies still use this kind of way to join the sales because it's uh, from the beginning, from from February, initial of, of uh, February, many of company don't know how to join the, the sales because in effect it's what's happened is inexpected. So as my uh, understanding from the beginning started Shenzhen, many companies in Shenzhen started so faster to do a uh, join this kind of, uh, of uh, live streaming. It's a really great successful us because the uh, engineering of this kind of work help the company to Groove up and not no stop them or in production. This is really important. This is a, the first key from the successful of China. Try to find the way to don't stop this kind of machine. Okay, slower or not. Right now, um, offline is a, it's a, it's a great business because 
as uh, when she says uh, every KOCL -K or KOL or, what, or whatever, because I have many kind of name day by day. Uh, <laughs> that's it's beautiful, that's why. And um, they have the biggest part of this cake because without them, this kind of business cannot start again. Uh, this is absolutely true. Uh -huh. Anyway, different class, different consumer, different behavior. So there is, you know, China is the really biggest. We don't have to talk only about the, the, the biggest part of this trend so, so, or luxury. There is from T1 to T6, it's a kind of different kind of consumer. Uh, Wenjin is a part of the luxury brand she joined the really great part of a of, of brand consumer, younger youth and G generation. And uh, probably she have a great back from this kind of work. Right now, step by step, as Rene says, the market still coming back in the normality, offline means. So, uh, yeah. summertime, in China, as usually, is really short. Okay, it's more longer. It's, it's shorter spring. It's more longer summer. Still waiting for September, but already many things is already in the shop. So, what will happen in the near nearly future is the probably the the not probably for sure uh, offline group up as well and again and again. Also, for example, Bosinen um, still joined one platform nearby in, in Hangzhou, nearby Alibaba. Many companies move them on um, part of, of, of offline in that, in that place because it's more easy to join and sharing sales from Hangzhou. It's a place of Alibaba, Taobao. Uh, everything. So it's moving around this kind of, of, of place. Uh, we still waiting to um, change and it will change in September because in, in September for sure, also for Bosidang, for the first, people must buy something to wearing and to be a little bit warm, you know, because our slogan is we warm the world. So in this case, we must sharing this kind of thing. and right. also, our, <laughs> also our strategy is completely completely different pietro let me jump inside so you mean that there are also organizations in this case you are talking about hanjo which for our community is uh, one of the nearest city of shanghai where alibaba is and then they also do uh, support the facilities because it's also interesting to know, to know what, which are the facilities that we need that. Because I want to share, uh, I don't know if can be this video that Rene sent to us, can be like uh, an event. So I want to understand which are the right facilities to organize this type of event. Oh, so let me do like this. <laughs> What to see the video? And I like it to share this video, but also this video because making understanding. So this means that the entertainment aspect is very important, isn't it? So, Rene, what do you, what are these? Which are uh, what it's around this kind of event where we see in your store, uh, where we see people, VIP, so people that used to go out. Well, I, I think these two videos are shooting uh, from. Uh, last year, 2019. Normally, I, I just mentioned that we do a lot of activities, uh, monthly activities to, you know, to build up the uh, loyalty and then the um, um, 
stability with our consumers and uh, we provide the content. We invite the designers from the brand, we invite the artists, we also invited um, the, the lifestyle bloggers to share their um, uh, comments on that, you know, like uh, to share their lifestyle to our VIPs to show them that uh, the designer or the artist, they are not, you know, Cyprian uh, people, they are just normal people among us, but with more, uh, a, a little bit more creative. So I think our customers and consumers, they are very enjoying this kind of event. That's why we hold this event uh, in every two months. And since the pandemic, we have to hold it because for this kind of activity, normally we invite it to more than 100 people. And during pandemic, we, we, we cannot invite anybody. So in this case, we using the live streaming. Uh, we invite the designers, the artists still, but we do the live streaming. But we can see that through the UNI, we can see that uh, the viewer, uh, the amount of a viewer is, uh, is much, much more than, you know, um, that people come offline. But of course, we still welcome the people come to offline so they can visit our shops. But in another way to allow us to, to, to have this kind of experience that uh, through the online sharing that we can allow more uh, VIPs or more customers to enjoy the topic with us together. Mm -hmm. So, and this is also a question that many people are thinking. Maybe this is a question for Rene and also, and also Pietro, even Wendela. I think it's a question for all of you three. So, many people are asking from Italy or from Europe, how a VIP person that was more close to be cocooned. So, because the event is it's really, and it's much better to go in a physical event. How they can satisfy their design online? Because you say that everything is going in a good way, but what they receive more, which made them okay. I'm very happy because uh, I don't. I'm. I don't know. I'm not going out, but I'm re receiving more caring. So I don't. Well, know. I, um, yeah, I, I think that um, this is a very uh, interesting point and very important point to point out that, uh, you know, when we invited uh, VIPs or consumers to the store or to some uh, event on site, they feel a bit privileged because they feel that, um, you know, they are being uh, considered uh, see, uh, I mean, um, uh, very important we invite them because for the, on, uh, for the offline, normally we limited people even around 100 people or 200 people, right? So everybody loves to, you know, to share through the online. Oh, I got a ticket. I got an entrance to this event. I'm so proud, you know. But of course, if, if you put it online, then they still enjoy, but... You, uh, you, you don't feel that way. It's like uh, uh, I've been invited to the fashion week uh, on, online, I mean offline, to the show, to see the fashion show uh, on the first row. I feel very, you know, um, enjoyable and pleasure. But then if you invite me to like a cloud show yes. Yes. through online, I feel nothing. Even the scenery to put in the movie or in the camera, you see, wow, but to us as a buyer, I can't touch it. <laughs> so to me, it's useless. <laughs> I don't feel, you know, I don't feel that this, um, the normal way as we go to the fashion show. I think it's the same as uh, when Jen feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it depends on um, if, if the consumer is, this, uh, is high end, they want they, they are more uh care about the, the shopping experience and uh, the online the live streaming products is uh, mainly i think is not like a highlight it's uh you can buy it without the um any um how to say any yali pressure right 
and uh, it's a it's a big yeah yeah yeah. I think the price is more friendly. Okay, so you mean this? You need again to have physical event in a very small part, but you you sell online because people are, don't have any pressure. So very interesting. And in this case, uh, I asked you, Pietro. So our Chinese consumer are changing or reshaping their desire because they maybe change the typology of desire. So Pietro, before you were talking about, ha, we need to wait September because September is the beginning of winter. So I completely trust and completely understand. How can you reshape the desire of your consumer in September or when the winter will come up? For sure, if you understand well, because the line is going down. Uh, if I understand well, your question is uh, how to try to find this consumer and their behavior. They usually way to buy. They change every time, every every moment. So in this case, we need to be faster, faster and uh, um, ready to eventually uh, join something different. So this is uh, most important. Have back your your back you supply chain really good and really faster because otherwise yeah. it's impossible to join okay. the new market can so i we... this video maybe pietro so what is this maybe it's interesting to I explain heard... some of the action that the brands are giving i heard the music and i think it was a, a london fashion shop because i can see the video Yes, yes, this is an example. The video about London fashion show. Yeah. Great success for, for China. Absolutely incredible because we was the, the only and the only one Chinese brand in London. You know, it's, it was uh, 16 February in the really full time of this kind of uh, pandemic. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, also, uh, so in this case, have, in this case, me, yeah, in this case, let me jump. This means that at the end of February or in February when it were London Fashion Week, no other body wants to be in London. Was already in Europe. So this was uh, we was lucky because we was uh, already in Europe. Uh, three of my assistants, is she, they coming from Shanghai because it's not. To, at that time, it's not closed the, the, the flight. Some someone coming outside, but we we in that time we must to rem do to reinvent the show because uh, <coughs> for the first uh, the, we the, we um, we are scary about what will we happen if people come or not because we are Chinese first of all. Okay, second one, how to find the Chinese model because. I will, in that time, I, I must I needed ninety percent of a Chinese model mm. because I work only with the Chinese model. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 it, it was a really, really incredible time. But also proud to be there because finally, from the space we have uh, around four hundred people, it was mm -hmm. uh, around one thousand five hundred to join our, our show, it's uh, incredible. This is, a, is a, in that time also we uh, do support it for China, uh, China Jayo. Uh, everyone in the world talk about this, this kind of, of event. There is, so, there is a really incredible. A message, let me say this was a message to you, that for the consumer, in this case, also Chinese consumer was to say, we, as a brand, we are resilient and we want to do something internationally like the event. And now, there, we have another video that you sent to us, which is uh, very incredible. So in this case, I don't know if you can see it. Just try to guess what, what is, because I can see the video from the music I try to understand. 
the video where some one of your friends conquer uh, the mountain, the top. Okay. So we find a wow factor, and it is connected. So it was in uh, April because uh, uh, in that time um, we sponsored the the China's uh, the Chinese team to go to uh, detect the new measure of the, the point of more high in the world. And we were in the, this kind of, of team. So in that time, we introduced our new technology because in, this, in, in the meantime, from back to uh, London, to April, we worked to reset up everything. So we discovered new technology to join this kind of uh, of work. Uh, we find a new way to do something as a suit with the feather inside. We said everything can be possible to change the way to join uh, this kind of work and go to 8,848 meters. So yeah. this is another resilient from Wait, China I part. So we never stop, we never give up. Absolutely. All my design, I have 45 designers here, and all Chinese, and uh, other uh, 30 people upstairs to join our makers, because uh, Shanghai Product Center is completely different than, than uh, uh, Shansu Product Center. It's as, like two different kinds of company. We are the, the company who do something completely new, research and development. So you, can I jump inside? I'm sorry. Elements that can be incorporated to the product. So now we are talking about the product. So which means to reshape the desire, technology is one of the elements that mean innovative products, uh, uh, this kind of very futuristic researches. So because this event was held in April, so which means not more than one month ago. So this means uh, a little bit more, of course. And then this means uh, also that we have the uh, elements in researching new materials. So, and this can make me jumping inside of another topic, which is the disruption that can define the retail scenario. So where you already were talking about streaming and then creating this kind of resilient aspect. But do you have any news or things that are changing the product style and the retail scenario in China? So at first we're still working to uh reshape the, the material with the, with the new technology and try to find a way to be antibacterial. First thing is antibacterial, it's a fo focus is antibacterial. Recycle, mm. the, the second point, but really important in the, in the meantime to the, the antibacterial. Uh, we starting from this point to make the new collection, okay? And after we do, around something special, but not massive, because in this moment we need, as we, we said before, we need to understand how to move from September. In, in to next. But you are talking about antipatarical protection, of course, because your product is a technical. But in this case, I like to ask to René, also because René is very famous as a person that is going to scout new brands so which elements you are looking for to attract your consumer uh, do you want to have more innovative products or maybe these types of more functional or more related to aesthetic when you look at for products and of course products for um, new designers or new brands well, I think uh, uh, from our part, when we selected the brands now, nowadays, uh, even for the sports part, we're definitely looking for the functional part. 
but uh, I also find that uh, uh, starting from, I think starting from uh, last quarter of 2019, uh, we are trying to find some work with some uh, uh, brands that they are um, uh, using uh, sustainable materials, you know, like recycled materials. Uh, we found that when we are showing the brands or the products to our customers, when we're telling the story about the material behind, they feel more interested in it. They feel like, wow, recycled material. But when you touch it, it's so smooth and the price is reasonable. And then we found that uh, we, we increase the sales immediately after the 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 the, the, the style is selling uh, you know selling uh, this this kind do this kind of story selling to the customers so uh i think starting from this year we are trying more and more with uh, we trying to uh, work with some uh, uh brands that when they're telling us they're using recycled materials they're using sustainable uh, development uh, on their fabrics uh, we we will try more to uh, to work with this kind of a brand. So you will go to explore more around. Yeah, we do sustainability. So now I want to ask yes. all of you three because uh, sustainability actually is really really the first element in Europe, uh, in uh, America, in Asia. I'm sure. I assume in Asia as well. Now we are switching these words as sustainability in responsibility, storytelling. So which elements are relevant for Chinese consumer when we talk about sustainability, responsibility, the story behind? So you were talking about recycling. Pietro was talking about innovative material. Do you see any other stories that Chinese uh, expect from or interpret in this kind of thing? So, uh, uh, first of all, people is interesting to understand what is, uh, what is sustainability okay. or some innovative because uh, it's not at all market is ready to understand this. Probably really have a really high level of uh, people for culture, you know, it's a, a status class and position of this kind of story. We need to uh, go up step, step by step. It's a part of this new way to work because uh, everyone knows what is antibacterial, but the, the question come really faster uh, how to save from coronavirus, you know. <laughs> so, in this case, <laughs> we have to understand. <laughs> so, uh, we, for example, we uh, join one kind of, of uh, new material really is protective from uh, the virus because we're working with, uh, with the Italian brand nearby Como to do for us in exclusively this kind of finishing and still trying to do one membering backside of the fabric. And when the people uh, use battery, code, take a look, they want to know this, the history. Also, if in this case it's interesting as, as mind or, or as culture, it's interesting, you know. But the, the, real, the real engineering of this kind of new way is the younger generation who uh, join um, Europe because that, that is really ready to share in WeChat or in Weibo, what, what means the real eco-sustainability? Because they, they really know, who live in, in Europe know, many uh, grocery, they have uh, uh, milk uh, kilometer zero because it's a really sustainability or uh, green, something like this one. We, we must re restart in this case. So let me, let me jump again. I'm sorry because we have a very short time, but this is a very important topic. So you think that the young generation 
uh, because also it's connected to Europe. They are they know many different things, but they would like to know more. So because our community is also a community that work in material, authentic material, real leather, real textile, uh, real material when they are real means you see in exactly why they are sustainable. So your suggestion is communicate, prepare them, educate the Chinese consumer in understanding what sustainable is. Is that something like this? What, what do you think? What do you think, Wenjulao, in this kind of in your in your job? Is this working to educate in a cool way about sustainability? So one part is absolutely uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Thanks. okay. Good talk. <laughs> You <laughs> we must educate the people, but another part more faster is also people share the voice and really faster come to understand to everyone, but educated, finishing, the neutral finishing. Great. So faster finishing is... Excuse me? Now, Angela, what she, what yeah. you... Uh, speaking of the educated, I think I'm, uh, I have involved uh, for um, many events. I can feel that the, the brand, uh, they are trying to tell the consumers about the branding, about uh, uh, if the product is uh, related to the recycling things. They, are, um, they want to know, they are trying to let the people to know more about it. So I think in, in these in many of the years in China, the consumers need to educate it. And now there are uh, no many, many concepts uh, as we, uh, uh, as we uh, how to say, I don't know. Uh, I mean, um, it's, it's, a, it's a time for, for the consumers who are ready for this uh, educated. And what about Rene? What do you think about your consumer? <laughs> I think um, I, I, I will explain that because our shop, we, we do the brands, we, we are not uh, commercial brands. We are not working with uh, commercial brands. We, we are more working with the uh, in, independent designer brands. So in this case, since we set up the company uh, from uh, 2012, we already group up a uh, a group of VIP. They they following us. Um, they like what we uh, selected for them. They like our attitude. They like uh, uh, the, they like our lifestyle. So when we sharing, you know, this kind of knowledge like uh, sustainability or recycle or environmental uh, protection, they they will. I mean, they will accept it immediately. But of course, uh, now the second generation, uh, more and more second generation, they are being educated uh, in universities. They are being educated overseas. So when they coming back and start to work now, they also sharing this uh, uh, experience or the concept to you know, the office people or to their staffs or their colleagues around. So I think that uh, uh, since we'll gradually uh, increasing, um, you know, that the people got the knowledge about these sustainability mm -hmm. from Chinese markets. But, but uh, from, my from my understanding, that would be more developed, you know, at the first line city like Shanghai, Beijing, and Canton, Shenzhen, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. this is really interesting because this is also, answering that the expectation around sustainability can be uh, depending on what the brands are uh, giving to the consumer and now the brands are educating. So I assume that 
thanks to the event, the live streaming where people explain the products. So where you give more and more detail around the products. So this will be the perfect occasion to explain the genuine materials, uh, the real life behind the material, and also what Pietro was saying, all these kind of new protective concepts that are one of the creation. And I like it to listen to this because you know our community, it's, uh, it's very, it's very, it's a variety of community that it's not, it's Italian, but or not all Italian, European, Asian. And we represent many brands that make beautiful, sustainable products. So, and this is the reason why responsible <coughs> products. I like it, this kind of things. And I also like it, uh, in this is our last question, that maybe it's more for Rene. Uh, everyone seeing the reaction of international luxury brands, so which are very good performing in China, we see, but which are the town, because I know that K11, where you have your shop, is located in Guangzhou, is Hong Kong, is Shanghai. So, which is the future of these cities? Or maybe we didn't talk about other cities that now are coming up in China. Rene, what do you think? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> this, this question is uh, okay. <laughs> I, I I think that uh, for the for the shopping for the shopping malls for let's just for example like for K eleven uh, in Shanghai or K eleven in Beijing or Wuhan or ah like in Wuhan just for example, mm -hmm. um, they I, I think they are trying to help to uh, restructure the whole. Uh, retail uh, experience um, mm -hmm. they try to using a lot of uh, um, uh, online activities to attract those uh, consumers to come to the shopping mall to online uh, sorry to off offline uh, like us we'll, we'll, we will do a lot of uh, 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 how, how can I say we, we will do a lot of uh, um, uh, events. Uh, the, uh, we would do a lot. Yeah, well, events is small, but we would do a lot of uh, uh, activities to promote, uh, to promote uh, different brands or different type of uh, arts or performance or the programs to uh, to build build up to uh, build back the uh, confidence from the customers. But of course, in this case, I mean, now the, uh, the discount season is coming soon because now it's almost, uh, uh, it's in July. So normally uh, we will have the uh, fall winter on, uh, on chef in August. So in July will be very important this uh, month to uh, attract the customers coming back to, to to do a more shopping. But as you just say that for the luxury brands, for the luxury brands, they have, uh, I think for certain groups uh, in China, it's quite interesting because most of people, they, they are now, even my friends around, they cannot go outside. They cannot travel to Europe. So what they can do is they can only, you know, uh, come to 11, K11, to Marley, to Louis Vuitton, to Gucci, whatever. And also for uh, for our customers, you know, for uh, independent designer brands, I don't think they got it too much influence from the market. But basically, for pandemic, I think the more impact will be on the commercial um, commercial uh, brands or the mass market. But now for the mass market, also it's getting back, and uh, yeah, that's what I can so say. Any <laughs> I, I hope I yes, hope okay. that I, I hope I solve your problem. So <laughs> I have another question, which is what about the small brands? If small European brands want to enter to China, are there any opportunities? 
Um, actually, you asked the right question. I, I have been uh, contacted by uh, many um, European brands or new brands through the online or through the, the government uh, commercial department from Italy, commercial department from France, from London. They all introducing a lot of uh, um, uh, new brands to us. So I will basically, I will select it. But uh, I, I, the problem is I cannot go there and they, can, they cannot come in here. So this is the main problem. Even we do the online uh, viewing, as I just mentioned before, I can't feel it. Okay. So I only right. see the color, I only see the shape, but I can't feel it. So I, I can't give my uh, comments uh, to, to the brand or even, you know, I need to get the selling point, you know, this, this kind of a situation. I, I see there's a chance, but... Okay, but see... you need to see the product. So we will find yeah. a way to sell the product. So one question to... <laughs> One question to Pietro, which is uh, beautiful. You are still buying materials from Italy. So this means that Italy can, can still send to you beautiful ideas in material. We started to work in, the, in, the, in January about this one. When I, when I back in, in the 23 January, back in, 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 in Italy, I live in Rimini, and... Uh, uh, go to uh, Como to uh, remake something and try to find something new. You know, I also work for the, the material is is my 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 key point. Also working for material from Italy, we have some uh, supplier who share with us beautiful material, eco sustainability. We already uh, start with one biggest project. Actually, I don't want to say which kind of project, but it's really, really important because it's a, as high-end um, eco-sustainability uh, company. Uh, we're still changing a lot as Bosdeng. So in this case, we must move really faster and try in advance to find a new, new product. Eco-sustainability. The antibacterial part of our job here in China and in Italy. Yeah, but this is a very, very interesting because you repeated several times this part. And I think we will give you some beautiful surprise. So last question to Wenjulao as well. So which is your dream now as influencer? Which is your next step? <laughs> So what, <laughs> so what you would like to do, you can. Oh, what's my dream? Right? Yes, yes. I <laughs> hope, yeah, mm -hmm. I hope my uh, traveling work can come back soon because uh, uh, now my daily life just can uh, stay in Shanghai or traveling uh, another city in China, so I cannot go the overseas. Um, so I hope, I hope all the bad things finish soon and back to normal life totally. <laughs> <laughs> and get to my work totally. <laughs> For sure. And I like the community that this question was to Angela, isn't it? Also because when Jola is doing many, uh, let me say, events in the hotel, luxury hotel yeah. in China, or flight yeah. companies, because they are already starting to promote themselves and to make people live in the, this experience. Yeah, in China, it's another, um, how to say, um, surprise. In uh, in hotel business, uh, in before in China, uh, the hotel business is not like so popular, so hot. <laughs> and uh, uh, this month, um, many of my clients from the lifestyle, like restaurants, hotel, 
or uh, some club owners, they are told me they are all full booked on July. So uh, because the cu customers, the people in China cannot fly to the overseas to have a vacation. So they have to stay in China to find the, the good result in China. That's why the business in a uh, hotel <laughs> in lifestyle is uh it's it's going well <laughs> it's going yeah. <laughs> super good as before <laughs> this is really good and i assume that this is also a way to have another types of product which is growing like design interior design hotel design so it's something that it's another very interesting segment so right. after it Italy, the place going <laughs> kind of for you. It would be absolutely long. <laughs> okay. So, unfortunately, I need to close. If you want, we can continue at a couple of hours to speak, but I really love it. I wish you, you, you were inspired. You inspired all of us, and I wish our community. Uh, we'll take this time listening us, even because uh, this is recorded. We can, everyone can listen again in the, in the, after this presentation. We will also share in, uh, in YouTube, in WeChat, Weibo. So we will try our best to stay connected. Thank you very much. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank, yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Buona giornata. Buona serata. Enjoy your evening. Uh, okay, grazie. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.